Hi everyone, uh, NZ Tech Freak here once again for AndroidNZ.net and today we're bringing you another video showcasing uh, this tablet, the Asus Transformer Prime. Now if you've been keeping up with your Android news today, you'll probably be aware that Ice Cream Sandwich or the Android OS version 4.0, the very latest one, is in fact rolling out to Transformer Prime owners around the world a couple of days ahead of schedule and Asus made that announcement earlier today. Now if you look at the wallpaper here you might take a hint and realize that naturally of course I have already applied the update. Uh, so if we jump into settings we can show you that. Get down to about tablet and you'll see there of course Android version 4.0.3 and I guess one thing that's really worth noting about this is this Transformer Prime is already rooted on Ice Cream Sandwich and if you're asking yourself how root is so soon available for, for this device on the most recent update uh, the answer is that you need to apply root prior to installing the Ice Cream Sandwich update and then use a free application from the marketplace called Over the Air Root Keeper by one of my favourite Android developers, uh, Supercurio run through the setup of that app then install the ice cream sandwich update, run the uh, root keeper app again and it will restore root to your newly flashed Asus Transformer Prime on ice cream sandwich. Um, and I guess just a quick demo to show that it's working. If we jump into the market you'll see that cut the rope is not installed. If we jump out of there and hopefully it's in my recent app somewhere, yep, titanium backup, you'll see that titanium backup says I have root access. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the list here, you'll see cut the ropes have been uninstalled. We're going to go in there and we're going to restore that and what the heck, we'll restore its data as well. I took the liberty of finishing a few levels so that you're able to see that um, the full backup and restore function of titanium backup is functioning perfectly on ice cream sandwich with root access preserved by root keeper while that's going just to make a few other points if we dive back into settings you'll see of course that we have the ice cream sandwich hollow theme on display here and it's much the same as it was for the galaxy nexus um, a few salient differences we don't have Android Beam or Wi-Fi Direct here because the Asus Transform Prime hardware doesn't support those functions and if we look here we've still got some customized settings from Asus much the same as before we've got a screenshot function which of course um, should be native uh, to Ice Cream Sandwich in any case uh, and we also have interestingly the option to change your right mouse button behavior so you can have it act as a back key like it always has in Android or you can in fact choose for it to show a context menu so you can change that behavior which is a really welcome thing uh, particularly uh, when you're in apps like Splashtop HD or other remote desktop apps where you're actually controlling a PC from the tablet. I haven't confirmed that's working as, as intended but I guess that's the idea behind it. One thing that I did notice going through the settings is there's no face unlock here and if we just show the regular unlock screen you'll see it's a standard honeycomb one and we can jump straight from there into the camera. You'll see the, the wall behind me and the camera there and basically Asus have done a good job of skinning the camera UI so that it's the same as what it was on their original firmware for the Transformer Prime which is really fantastic with all the controls <coughs> falling easily uh, under your thumb there. And it looks like Titania Backup saying that the restore for Cut the Rope is finished. So if we jump back into the market we can see that Cut the Rope, well hopefully we can see that Cut the Rope has been restored including its market link and there it is there, yep. And if we jump into the application Hopefully the three, I won't have to complete those three levels that I've already done again because it should have restored my data as well. And there you go, so three, three levels already complete, um, so a perfect app restoration from Titanium Backup just to show that root access is working perfectly well for the Transformer Prime on Ice Cream Sandwich. And a few other things to demonstrate really, um, mostly around how the stock apps look in Ice Cream Sandwich, so if you go to something like Gmail 
you can see that you've got your ice cream sandwich look and we can swish between the different emails there much nicer than it was in Honeycomb. If we jump into the browser and we'll, you can see the ice cream sandwich dialog menu here so you can request desktop sites, you can save pages for offline reading, um, find on the page or open an incognito tab for all of you porn surfers out there. If we jump to a forum, actually we'll choose a different forum, we'll choose GeekZone, uh, a New Zealand tech site, because typing in this site has been notoriously bad um, in Android. On previous versions of the Honeycomb browser, you got extreme text entry lag, and basically under Ice Cream Sandwich, this is... It's not quite ideal typing from the side on a split keyboard like this, but essentially typing is now perfect. And in fact, browser performance is generally much, much improved. And you get some other cool things if we jump into settings. For instance, the ability, when I find it, to do inverted rendering. So if you're using one of the upcoming Samsung ones, which will probably have a Super AMOLED screen, this is a real battery saver for you to be able to invert the browsing window. <clears throat> so you can see that's that's a great setting from Ice Cream Sandwich and it's working perfectly well here. So the browser's great, really improved over previous iterations for Android tablets and Honeycomb. Um, Gmail again improved. The calendar app also is the same as what we've seen on things like the Galaxy Nexus. So you can pinch to zoom in on things. So you can zoom in and out on things within the calendar app, which is just looking that little bit nicer in the ice cream sandwich stock form. And if we have a quick look at YouTube, now this was a surprise to me. YouTube has had some minor aesthetic changes, um, but to all intents and purposes is the same as the Honeycomb YouTube app that you're accustomed to seeing already. So, much the same. And of course, one of my favourite features from Ice Cream Sandwich, we can simply swipe apps that are running to get rid of them. Let's close all these benchmarks and things. And of course we can do the same with notifications, so we get rid of all those Titania backup ones, we know what was happening there. So just as you can do on a phone, you can individually dismiss notifications now within ice cream sandwich with tablets and I took the liberty of taking some screenshots of benchmarks done in ice cream sandwich and we can see a much improved uh, Velomo score for the browser benchmark uh, up to 1251 very good score indeed uh, this is pre ice cream sandwich this is post ice cream sandwich essentially uh, graphics performance is unchanged according to Nina Mark II if we look at Quadrant, we get about 2,800, which actually is much the same as what I had before uh, on Honeycomb, which probably reflects nothing more than the fact that Quadrant's kind of a bit long in the tooth and is no longer uh, a benchmark that I'd place any, any particular stock in. If we go to Chain File, which is the benchmark I do like, uh, we can see extremely good scores, uh, nearly, in fact, probably about double the Galaxy S2, the previous kind of high bench for Android in these things. Um, and these scores are generally quite improved over their Honeycomb counterparts on the Asus Transformer Prime. And lastly, if we look at Antutu, which is another pretty good benchmark, get a score of 10,500, and that's actually essentially the same as, as what we had on Honeycomb. And of course you'll see a few other things like if we navigate to the end we get a little over scroll glow on this side as we scroll through home screens and home screen scrolling is still nice and snappy as it was even on Honeycomb on this tablet. If we jump into the app store we of course have the new look app store with this really nice 3D animation with the next tray slides up in and of course if we keep going we go straight into the widgets. So it's Ice Cream Sandwich, much as you have known it for the Galaxy Nexus. Missing a few things that the hardware isn't supporting, but largely the same. And 
so far for me the user experience has been great. I do notice that some users are having some trouble with the update, getting sort of screen errors um, and various other ails. Presumably those would be fixed by a factory reset or trying to reinstall, manually reinstall the update, but reports of those kinds of problems aren't yet widespread. So that's all I wanted to show today, just a very brief overview showing the new ice cream sandwich update for this, the Asus Transformer Prime. And once again, really got to give uh, kudos to Asus for, for pushing this update out so quickly, as they did for all of the OS updates uh, during last year for the original Asus Transformer. So Asus is quickly becoming a company that I have a lot of trust in in terms of software updates. I would go so far as to say that up till now their record is basically spotless and certainly better than every other Android manufacturer I can think of. Um, in terms of ice cream sandwich itself, well, look, not a lot's changed. It's very similar to how it um, appeared and worked on the Galaxy Nexus uh, with a few tablet refinements here and there where things scale up to take advantage of the extra screen real estate. But don't expect a massively different experience on this than what you will have had on Honeycomb, basically. Um, Anyway, that's all we've got for today. That's Enter Tech Freak, signing out for Android NZ.